So I'm going to be going from uh, the Walmart in Ontario to Nyssa, straight, somewhat straight south. I kind of have to go into town a little bit and take a left at about that Pilot Travel Center on the 2nd Street. And then uh, that's going to take me <clears throat> to another turn. and. That'll be about the highway equivalent, and then from there it's going to be pretty easy to get to Nyssa. I want to avoid the major highway if I can. I've only got a quarter tank of gas, but I think I can make it on that, so i take the chance. There seems to be enough sunlight, and besides that, it's just been, it's been kind of warm overnight too. It barely frost, things barely frosted over, so... I am able to start a little bit earlier because of uh, my windshield being more, a little more clear. I just had to wipe off the water this time instead of scrape off all that hard frost. Nope. Got to stop up ahead. I think I want to be behind this onion truck. It's the first second. I'll take a left on. And uh, it's gonna be maybe 20 mile 20 minutes. So I think I have enough gas for that 20 minutes. I could get gas just to top it off, but I don't know, I'm not really in that much of a hurry. At Boise, next left. See so yeah, I could take that. I could take the nice highway, but I don't I don't really like this, I don't like the view from that highway, I'd rather be able to see, I think I'll be going downtown, first is, to, first is uh, on downtown, second is a little bit behind that, maybe, maybe I could take a, a turn on first and then, oh wait, oh no that isn't downtown, my mistake, it's the second, second first that's down. Oh well, no, it would be down. It's it's one of the two. East or west or north? Yeah, one of the two. I don't know. It's the the all I know is the second second would be more downtown, and I'm taking the first seconds, and this could be it. It looks like it'd be. Well, it's hard to tell. Did I? Did I pass the pilot place? Fourth. Okay, so I got two blocks. <clears throat> pass up uh, Sinclair Gas. Third, and then... Yeah, I'll take a left on the second. This guy might have the same uh, idea, too. The onion truck, I think. There's, a, there's actually a road... There's like a road called Onion Road, so they they got a lot of onions going through here. When they can, they can name an, a road after the onions too. That road is between here and Nyssa somewhere. I might hit it. So turning off of Idaho Street. This is this is kind of a secondary downtown. They got. You know, one on one side of the railroad tracks and another on the other side. There's a few businesses around here. Baker Packing. 
a steel distributor, Gonzales Marketing. East side, yeah, there's there's the east side of the tracks and the, the west side of the tracks. So there's there's a difference in, in culture I I bet. Separated by the railroad tracks. And Mexicans do make up a a large portion of the city. They're <laughs> Wow, that's, that got my attention, that, that guy. Alright, and I take a right on like uh, 17th or something. <clears throat> I had a little breakfast this morning. Seems like it's okay. It's nice to have hot water to, to heat up grains every so often. And I got more hot water because I got frozen vegetables from the Walmart. I preferred to, I think I prefer to get the dehydrated vegetables, but those are harder to come by. It's all strange to me, but I guess that's how society works. It's harder to get the dehydrated vegetables in comparison to the frozen ones. I guess I think there's more of a profit to be made with frozen vegetables anyway. So I got frozen vegetables, but I have to. I'm letting them thaw a little bit, and then I'll, I'm gonna just. Uh, this will be a, an experiment for the first time where I'll uh, like put them in hot water and uh, you know really heat them up good see how that tastes I never really done that I always just had them thaw or I throw them in the microwave but I think I think I'm gonna try to eat more vegetables and uh, throw them in hot water it's just you know they're they're already liquid and it's hard to to heat up. Uh oh. Do I take a right here? Oh shit, it's not it's not clear. Mm, okay, yep. I take a right here. I have a guy behind me too. He's probably wondering what was wrong with me. Wow. Wasn't too sure about that one at first. So. Yeah, I don't have much torque on this car. Wow, that's kind of a neat view going up the hill and able to look down on this big factory warehouse place. Alright, so I just gotta make sure do I have any other turns coming up? Uh, I think there's, yeah, there's definitely got to be one more turn. Uh, yep, yep, okay. On 201, I take a left. Okay, that's simple. On 201, I take a left. So there's a little bit of farmland out here. Oh, yeah. A lot of horses on the left. Horse, horses all corralled up in their small pens, unable to to run around or anything. Such a shame to see those horses all cooped up like that. It's a shame to see any of these animals cooped up in such small surroundings. Unable to, to really get good exercise. It's unfortunate. The only things that get more, the most exercise and burn the most energy these days are machinery, or cars and trucks and all that, it's things with wheels. More energy is expended through mechanical means than through, uh, like, through, uh, like living tissue. And that's got to come back and bite us eventually. Oh, there's that weird hill, I think. I saw this weird hill off of the distance. But I saw that all the way in, in Payette. This is a different... This is probably a different type of hill, but it definitely looks weird. Maybe there's two weird hills. 
No way I could have seen this one from Payette. It does look pretty large though. I was wondering if I could see Walmart from Payette. I mean it is a rather short drive. It is like a near vertical hill. Like a yeah, volcano looking type of mountain. I don't believe it's man-made. It's so huge. Driving straight towards it, but I'll probably turn on the 201 before I hit it. Well, okay, left on 201, this is probably it. Okay, this is it. More farmland. Lots of agriculture. Not so much the cows. Some kind of a semi truck warehouse. So now, now this is a harsh climate. They talk about how it's such a harsh climate and. Uh, in World War II, they welcomed the Japanese, uh, like, into this harsh climate to avoid being in the internment camps and, uh, incarcerated in, in their, their POW camps. Um, they invited them to come over here and have a little more freedom, but... You had to, they had to deal with this harsh climate. A climate they said that the Indians had trouble dealing with. They had to maybe just kind of pass over the land or get off the land while it was too hot and probably too cold. I mean, 90 degree average, that's, that's a little too much. Even for Indians, the hardy Indians could, had trouble with it, according to Wikipedia. So, I wouldn't want to be here in the in the summertime. I don't know where is a Burns and Bends to the right. Yeah, <laughs> Burns. I wonder how that uh, how if the FBI is still hanging out there or what. Nissa, this way, okay. East 20, 26, south. Yeah, there's, there just doesn't seem to be any great places when August comes. I mean, on the coast, it'd be ideal. Just hang out on the coast for, uh, for like practically July, August, and September. And then, and then you can go back into the mainland again. But August is the worst. Onion Avenue, there it was. These are, these are possibly onion farms. It's too bad that they don't, that they make those, those, un, those green tops go to waste and only harvest the, the roots. The roots have a longer shelf life. But I mean, all the green tops are edible too. They just seem to make them go to waste. But the Asians don't let, Asians would definitely not let them go to waste. If they had it their way. Cause I remember I went to a farmer's market and the, the Asians were selling the, the green top of garlic. I didn't even know what it was until uh, they pointed it out, until I saw it. The green tops are, are as offer different nutrients from the root. And if you want more self-sustaining food, eating eating the green tops would be a better idea. Like I've eaten the wild leeks in Wisconsin. They're, they're kind of rare. They're pretty rare. I only found them in one place in the spring. You really got to look hard. Look hard and fast for them leeks. Look in the deep woods too. I don't know if leeks 
Licks probably should do pretty well in, in overturned soil, but they do. I mean, they do have a good defense for uh, the wild, the, the deep woods too. They can re repel predators pretty good. Those leeks. They taste good with um, anything kind of fatty, maybe eggs or meat. Yeah, this may be all, well, onions, and then uh, sugar beets start somewhere. There's, that's, that's what they uh, attracted the Japanese to Nissa to, were the sugar beet factories. The sugar beet factory. What? Something about Frank. I didn't quite catch that. Yeah, it's really picking up in fog. These harsh conditions. Yeah, they, they do a lot of sugar beet. Oh man, that house is uh, abandoned. Well gutted out. In this harsh climates, that's diff... You want to live in a cave. You want to have a cave. I remember that, that last year I... I had my house. I, I spent a lot of time in the basement in the summertime. Close off all the windows, turn on the the, the, the anti-moisture machine, the dehumidifier. Turn that on. Just enjoy the the coolness, the natural coolness of the basement. Only eight feet, ten, only ten, eight or ten feet into the ground. That's all you need. And you have pretty good coolness. Dig into the ground. Dig a nice hole into the ground. And you got you got a nice, nice cool, cool environment. It's just you got to deal with uh, kind of the bad, uh, the bad air from the stuff that can give you cancer or whatnot, uh, whatever it's called. Uh, the the the, the, uh, the nuclear the nuclear things that are found in the the air and underground the radon you got to look for radon be careful of that I did stay in kind of a a partial underground garage one summer but it did get surprisingly hot. It, it wasn't underground enough. You can't just... You really, you really gotta... Put the, the structure underground... Mo mostly. You gotta put most of it underground. For it to be able to naturally stay cool. Because where, where I stayed... In this uh, garage... You know, after I sold my house and stuff just stayed in it for a summer it was partially partially buried so there's a hill on two sides of it that ran down to the bottom and then yeah one complete side one complete open face was exposed to the outside of the door pretty much and all the hot air could get right in there it really needed to be buried more I think is this Need to throw more dirt around it. How much dirt is necessary? It's like somebody died on the side of the road there. They put up some kind of memorial with flowers and stuff. Still a little frosty out here. Snow stuck on the ground. So it's barely getting above free above melting. Some kind of irrigation ditch for the for the crop. Yeah, this just miles of of uh, empty field. Probably it's either sugar beets or onions. They have a sugar beet factory in Nyssa. But it looks like it was closed down. By reading about it and looking on the map, you can see it looks old. 
Just looking top down. Nissa. I don't cross Snake River. Snake River is on my left through the fog. Columbia Avenue. Yeah, a few people do live out here. I'm a little nervous about the air pollution that could be a pro potential problem out here. As bad as Weezer and Payette got, it's definitely, oh yeah, I smell burning right there. It's definitely a concern. Entering this, uh, oh my god, 3,200 3, people. <laughs> Somebody's got a, a bomb. All right, Google Maps knows where I'm at. All right, so it kind of curves, and it just kind of curves, and then I see the library. <laughs> on 5th, on 4th, 4th Street, on my right. So I'll take this curve, heading to 4th Street. Oh my God, it's even more fog. And I got a long, I got like a couple of hours before the library opens. 25, okay. A lot of farm machinery. Fourth Street on my right. A lot of farm tractors and harvesters. People checking them out. Cemetery 2. Yeah, just the road is lined with farm equipment. Pacific Pride. Two fourteen for gas. Got a subway. There's Seventh Street. Big fence around here, probably for the school. Oregon Trail. Yeah, there is a there is a, a museum. Okay, this is Sixth Street. So the oh, that's six. Okay, I think that looks like a grocery store on the left. Some kind of food center. M and W Food Center. Pull. All right. Oh. Uh, Oh, okay, so the library is to the right. They even have a sign for this one. Now, I don't believe there was a sign for Ontario. Uh, seniors. Oh man, you know it's not entirely clear. It's not entirely clear where the library is. I guess I could just sort of park at this church. 